Hello everybody, welcome to the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show, Episode 3. The reason why I look so different is because I took plastic surgery. So without further ado... Ah! Thomas, you just hit me so hard that the camera fell! And why did you do that in the first place? You're supposed to be with the other friends at the back. Well, Justin, the reason why I did that is because you were picked for a contestant in the Wheel of Names. Wait, what? No, 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 no. That can't happen. I'm the host. A host can't be a contestant. Well, now that happened. Now get to the board right now before I'll make salad sandwiches out of you. Okay, fine. You do look pretty cool, though. Anyways, viewer, ah, uh, uh, stupid camera! You know what? I'm gonna put a burial under it. Uh, uh. Okay, viewers, I did that. Now, oh, and by the way, before we continue, in episode one, Justin miscounted the scores. So here are the actual scores. Do do. So that's 880 for me, 370 for Percy, and 500 for Mr. Lucky Charm. Now anyways, let's get to the first question. Yay! When was Space Jam released? No windows, Neptune. That wasn't the correct answer. You get 200 negative points and two weeks of work. Oh, and by the way, I upgraded the scoreboard and it was only five bucks. Doo doo! Uh, one quick question, Thomas. Where did you put the video game consoles, well, besides the Game Boy Advance, because it is a contestant chosen for today's episode. Oh, I, I put it up there. Thomas, why would you put it up there? So it won't get broken. But it will be broken if it was an avalanche. Oh, shut up, Justin. Anyways, on to the next question. Hey, Thomas, you forgot my turn. I didn't answer yet. Oh, well, uh, my bad. This is the first time, ho well, me hosting this show. Okay, Justin, what's the answer? Is the answer 1998? Yes, Justin, the correct answer is 1998. Now let me get this thing out of here. Alright, that's better. You get 400 points. Doo doo! Anyways, with that out of the way, on to the next question. How many years does a monitor live? Is it A? 10 to 20 years, or is it B, 6 years? No, Game Boy Advance, that is not the correct answer. You get, well, 5 negative points. Doo doo! The question is still up for grabs. Who is going to answer it? Is it Windows Neptune or Justin? Yes, Windows Neptune. Finally, you get a question correct. It is the correct answer is 10 to 20 years. Finally... Anyways, 
you get 60 points. Doo-doo! Anyways, we will be right back after this commercial break. Are you bored? You don't have anything to do? Well, no fear, because we have a solution for you. Introducing, well, introducing a new product from Five Below, the Snagit Claw. This claw can solve all your life problems. It can open and close doors for the ladies. It can grab batteries, pencils, DS cartridges, crayons, a Super Mario Brothers game and watch. It can help you type on your keyboard. It can even carry your pencil carrier. Hey, I'm in a commercial. This is cool. Yeah, me too. Man, this is so cool. I've never been on a commercial on a game show before. Hey. You guys, be quiet. We're trying to do an ad for a fire below. It can even raise paper blinds. Ooh la la, look at that view. Including sonic statues. One leg or all two legs. So you don't have to carry it with your bare hands. Snagit Claw, only from five below. Only two dollars. Space Jam, a new legacy toys, only from McDonald's. Ba da ba ba ba! Password to keep unwanted people from your devices. Add passwords to your electronics, you weirdos. Advice from Justin Studios. Fun fact, do you know that some TVs have secret buttons? They're useful if you lost your remote for the TV. So that way you always have that secret button. Secret buttons on TVs. Perfect if you lost your remotes. Are you bored? You don't have anything to do in on a summer and winter day. You just wish you had a game console like your friends. Well, we have a solution. For you, introducing Nintendo's greatest handheld from the 1980s comeback, the Super Mario Brothers Game & Watch. It has everything you, your Switch doesn't have. A timer with really cool secrets. Including a drawing song that you can listen to all night long. And three amazing titles such as Super Mario Brothers. From the NES in 1985 and became a smash hit ever since. Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, only released in Japan, which is a hard game for hardcore fans. 
and finally we have Ball, starring Mario. Super Mario Bros. Game and Watch, available at electronic and toy stores near you. Do you want to know what's better, a Game Boy or a Game Gear? Game Boy or Game Gear? Well, we have an answer for you. Introducing the Sega Game Gear. A bright, beautiful color screen. A volume dial. A link cable that looks like an HDMI port. A cartridge slot. Battery slots. And all the things that the Game Boy doesn't. And amazing games such as... Sonic Chaos, an easy game for beginners. And the bright, beautiful color screen as we mentioned earlier in the stupid commercial. So which one should you buy? A Sega Game Gear. Only $150. Aw oh man, I have COVID. I wish I didn't have COVID. Well, we have a solution for you. Mask to protect you from COVID-19. Man, that was the longest commercial ever. That was the longest commercial break since episode one. Okay, uh, anyways, I don't have much time because, um, I have to do a premiere with Justin and stuff. So, we're just gonna get two more questions and then done with this episode. Whoa, 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 Thomas. You are not going to do any two more questions. Oh, don't do. Oh, Thomas, don't do two more questions. Me, I'm doing the questions. No, I'm doing the questions. You get back. You get back in the contestant zone while I do the rest. You did enough. Hey, you can't do that to me. You... You get back there! And that's it. If you're continuing to do that, I can also do this. Down! Hey, you can't do that to me. That's it. Oh, yes, I can. Speaking of that, you get 1573426897500 weeks of work. But Thomas, that's five years, I think. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyways, on to the pfft. Not on my show, you coward. Anyways, I'm the host for this. Thomas, you get back on the stage. And I have to find Windows Neptune. Wait, he's gone? He got murdered in the commercial? Well, that's great. Now I have to find a brand new contestant. Well, all right, Game Boy Advance, change the scoreboard. I'll be right back. This wasn't the first time that this happened. This was the second time. Great. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Well, I don't know. I don't know anything to do. Hey, Justin's coming. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Justin. What's up? Oh, nothing. It's just that the same thing happened in episode two. 
What, did Charlie show off your credit cards and stuff? What? No, he didn't do that. Yeah, that was an episode ago. Shut up, Charlie. Anyways, I just need one of you guys and girls to be on this episode. Well, it should not be that big of a deal. Pick me. Yeah, but the problem is, though, almost half of you guys been on the show, and I don't know who to pick. And it's a tricky one. Okay, uh, say, I didn't, if you didn't be on the show. I didn't. I didn't. I, uh, I didn't. Which I rather prefer. Oh, shut up, Lexi. You don't know what it's be to be like on the big stage. Well, I guess that's true. I give you that. Great. That means you three guys will be on the Wheel of Names. All right, share the screen. Oh, no, I already know this is not going to be good. Oh, be quiet. I mean, look at Thomas. He's been on the show. Look. Man, I wish Duchess was here. Or Kinji. But not Lexi. Well, I guess that's true. Share the screen, boys. Alright, so I'm recording this from my phone. Alright, guys, let's do this. Well, I hope so. I hope I'm not picked. Well, I don't know. Let's find out. Well, Kinji, you have been picked, and you were chosen. What? I was chosen? I don't know. I don't want to. Aw, oh, come on, Kinji, please, this once. This once like your lifetime. Oh, okay, I guess I'll go. Sweet, meet you at the front of the stage. See you later, guys. Bye, Kenji. Do 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 do. All right, that's enough. Anyways, guys, I'm back on the stage. Wait a minute. Why is Micro Windows Neptune on stage already? I thought he died. Well, go ask Game Boy Advance. Wow, that was a sad story. But luckily it got better in the end. Anyways, Kinji, since you were unexpectedly chosen by the Wheel of Names on screen on an episode of this game show for the first time, you have been picked. Yes, I know that. Tell me something I don't know. Like, how was he on stage? And how come he's not talking like Game Boy Advance? That's because they're objects, Kinji. Anyways, on to this question. Wait, did he? Wait, Thomas, did he change the scoreboard? Uh, yeah, but he didn't know that Kinji was coming. Well, that's okay. I'll do it. Two seconds later. Okay, I added Kinji on to the next question. When did Thomas and Friends came out? Oh, I know this one. Is it 1984? Wow, Thomas, I didn't think your brain was still sharp till this episode. Well, I guess that's true. I mean, it is true. So, you get... Hmm, let me think about it. But in this country, Thomas and Friends came out in the 1990 in the U.S., but I guess I'll give you that. You get 60 points. Doo -doo! Well, time for our final question of this episode. 
When did the original Game Boy come out? Was it A, 1989? Was it B, 1999? Or is it C, 2009? Is the answer 1989? Congratulations, Charlie! Hallelujah! Well, whatever you name it, you have the correct answer. Finally! And you get one thousand points. One thousand points? That's a record! Yep. Well, not really. The actual record is, well, uh, 100,000, but still. But that's the record. Well, not actually. The actual record is 5,000. So it's counting down. So this is the second record, Kinji, and you get 1,000 points. Doo doo! Anyways, viewers, that's all we have for today's episode of the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show, Episode 3. I hope you enjoy. See you in the next episode. Bye! And we also added a new thing after I'm saying this. Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show was filmed in a live studio audience.